Let's on three, family on six. One, two, three, four, four five, six. Family. My name is Megan. I am a VIT student. I'm currently studying um, interpreting and my language combinations are English and um, SASL, South African Sign Language. Um, and I hope to become a certified sign language interpreter one day. Uh, basically, we're looking at um, how to improve some of the, I would say, coaching that we get from a high school level. Um, and basically trying to start coaching players uh, from a fit standard at a much younger age. We started uh, with a very small academy. But we had some great initiatives, so we started with a couple of clinics, um, had quite a few kids at the first clinic, uh, actually the first clinic we had was like all guys, we had maybe that, 20 kids there, we ran another clinic that same year and, uh, and a lot of uh, you know, female players heard about the clinic, so there were a lot of girls at a high school level again that wanted to, to join an academy. Sorry, I was sitting in a tuck shop um, at Blitz, uh, in Hall 29 one day, and I'm coming to uh, we were talking about what we were studying and things and I was telling her I studied sign language and she was like, oh, we have a deaf player on our team. Um, and I was like, yeah, well, I want to become an interpreter. And she was like, okay, can you come and interpret for us? So I was like, yeah, sure. And then, yeah, that's how I started interpreting for this one. Yeah. Vika? All right, it was Vika. Yo, have fun. My name is Pumani. My sign name is Lani. I go to St. Vincent's, speak for the deaf. From here, I come to Bits for basketball. I started playing basketball. I forgot how long ago, I forgot how old I was. It was far back ago. My name is Katezo. My sign name is Kadezo. Okay. Nuko Beni. My story. I started when I was 14 playing. I played with my best friend every day. We love basketball. I found it because of my mother. In 2020, they accepted me, but February had opened. So we came, I came in February. My first time was in 2020. I helped him. Before, we didn't pay much, so I supported him, I fetched him, I brought him here. I mean, the first time that we're hearing about and seeing players you know, from this community is now. And we're trying to do more, we're trying to contact these schools uh, to kind of bring them in closer to Wits University. If we can recruit from, you know, St. John's, Cares, with the schools that are around this area, we can surely also recruit from St. Vincent. You know, um, it, it shouldn't be a reason why we can't, there shouldn't be a reason why there isn't a program there that we can help so that we can get players from there into Wits University.